Hey folks, how you doing? Couple new things that I want to show you. Uh, did the orange Kydex sheet for Trail Master for uh, one customer. He loves orange. All the sheets so far he had orange. Uh, getting better and better at it. This one still has to get loosened up in here with the tape on the blade. But I got the nice, nice clip that is still easy to remove. So uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get the Trail Master Maestro because I have a feeling that there. A uh, bunch of people will want this shit, but these are expensive. I don't know if if I was me, if it was me, I don't know. You know, 40, 45 bucks for a sheet, even though the, just the original one is like 50 something dollars from Cold Steel, the the Securex. But still, it is. Uh, you know, I can make it cheaper, but on the other hand, if it was me, I would think twice if I was getting a 50 dollar Kydex sheet. You know. But uh, getting better and better on it, if I can say so myself, works out, works pretty nice. Then another ca uh, guy contacted me for a rod 7 sheet with the ferro rod. That one came out really nice too, I think. Really nice, great retention and nice snap. Like you see, it jumps out actually. It's a great retrieval, but still very secure. Uh, Got a new thing. Uh, you've seen my one of my favorite knives of all times, my uh, ever so popular Hest. I was actually fortunate enough and uh, got one on forums in f for very good price, especially considering that they are discontinued. This guy is pretty much brand new. There is it doesn't look like uh, the guy you ever used it. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember if mine had the serial number, but I don't think so. I can't see it there because I was using it and you know all that stuff, sending and shit. So I'm not sure if I had the serial number, but this one actually have the serial number, 72. And this is actually even the older model because this is still the RAT USA, mine was SE. So that's pretty cool, very happy that I was able to pick one of them up, because I think it's an excellent knife and uh, for a good price it's really worth to have two of them one user one for the collection or maybe for resale if, it, if they really will go up on price or if one of my friends will really really want it and the star of the today is actually this got my sage tool from Tuftums I, for a long time I was so jealous that my buddy Casper had one of these. Uh, I always wanted the Sage, I didn't, it was, they are expensive, you know, I was thinking here and then about that Sage one, it was the cheapest one out of them, I could have got them for 90 bucks, but uh, I sold a couple sheets, saved up little money, so I said, ah, to hell with it, I'm gonna treat myself. So I bought uh, this guy, Sage 2, actually for a good price, the, once in a while you can find this for 130 something dollars on Amazon, which is not that bad, you know, they used to be almost 200, 170, so pretty fair price. Send it straight to Tough Thumbs for his pimp job, he did a gorgeous job, I love it, it's, it's just so much nicer than just a plate titanium like this. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, they should make it like this to begin with. You know, this should be pretty easy for Spyderco to do a CNC job on these scales. They are CNC, uh, CNC, CNC -ed. anyway, I bet you, so why would, why don't they do something nice like this? I mean, it's a matter of literally a couple of seconds, I guess, for the machine. It's such a beautiful knife. Uh, love the air goes on it, love the shape. Only thing I don't like, I notice it on couple spider because now sometimes they they don't round off at all the edges in the hole, and it's literally painful on your thumb, especially if you have thumbs work out like me, like all scratched always and cut up and stuff. It's just the skin cut, but you know it is a cut, and I can feel it. And it's actually quite painful on that sharp edge. I don't know. I, I know like it's easy fix. I'll just take the diamond file and round it off, but. They should do it in the factory, I think, to make it l just a little bit rounder, to make it more comfortable. You don't need such a grip on it. Love the air goes on this, love the shape, 
nice knife it's pretty light for uh, you know that it's metal uh, nice stuff love how he uh, beat blasted sand, uh, sand blasted the pocket clip it looks gorgeous now even the pocket clip looks, looks like titanium so you know what guys if you oof, he's doing such a great job anything you can think of tough times can do and he's doing a kick ass stuff from titanium lately so wow man great work great work uh, oh and one more thing if anybody ever was wondering what type of tank the uh, k-bar knives has have this is the warthog in process of uh, customizing for Marcello and this is this the same as the the machete had the tank you know kind of like a rat tail hidden tank with this uh, hole in the end so if any of you will ever think about customizing it get ready to see this you know uh, they are kind of hard to do they are doable you see in it you can always do the slabs and either get the uh, drill uh, holes drill through the tank and have the regular holes but I actually decided on machete I don't know if you notice what I did actually I took a pins and I located the pins going through the micarta here 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 and here touching touching the tank so the micarta is epoxy together no it's also epoxy to the tank on this little area but the pins are holding it so it cannot you know it cannot move anywhere it doesn't have a, any room to move even in vibration and a heavy use it just can fall apart you know so it's not like just one pin is holding it so you can always just little little creativity and uh, uh, locate the pins so you know it's it works just as if you would have the tank drill drilled because the micarta is heavy stuff so even if you have the pin going through the just through the micarta and not through the tank and if you have two on each side that are touching the tank that it cannot move anywhere nowhere and uh, the, the end pin is uh, securing it from moving back and forth these pins are move, securing it from moving up and down so it just cannot let go just uh, maybe a little advice for you in the future if any of you are thinking about it alright guys enjoy the weekend happy holidays stay care stay safe remember to check out the knife rights and don't cut yourself